I'm not able to change your life, but you certainly are. And I have found that it's ideas that literally change everything in our life. In life, you should only ever be doing one of two things. And that is figuring out what you're most passionate about, like finding your dreams in life. And then two, realizing those passions, realizing those dreams. And the first one is much harder than the second one. If you know what you want to do, no big deal. You just commit your entire life to doing it and you'll either get really close or you'll die trying. So what I would challenge this young man or, or, or young woman to do is you have to look inside of yourself and see what you really want. What, what are you passionate about? We use these words and these little phrases of only the strong survive and all this other crap. They're all just fucking words. I get so tired of hearing people just talking. Like right now, someone may think Goggins is just talking. <laughs> you don't know me. So when I speak, I speak from passion. I speak from experience. I, I, I speak from suffering. I have to tell this young man or woman that the only way I believe, this is just my experience in life, the only way you're ever going to get to the other side of this journey is you have got to suffer to grow. To grow, you must suffer. You can become the kind of person that is so in tune with the values that you have and what you actually want that when feelings rise up, you can choose to act however you want despite them. Even if you're tired, you can still go to the gym. Even if you're annoyed with your spouse, you can still speak in a manner that's loving. Even if you don't feel like doing that hard work, you can still push yourself to do it. Your feelings aren't a choice. Your behavior and your thoughts are always a choice. Several people live to be 100 years old. And they have great lives and they have great kids. Their kids go to college and all sorts of stuff. But somewhere in their life, there was a point where they had a decision to make. They can go left or right on this path. Left was the easy route. Right was the hard route. A lot of people take the easy route. And they had a good life that way, but the better life was going to the right side. And you may have 20 years of pain and suffering to get past it, but a lot of us die never truly starting our journey. And I would tell this young person, you gotta start your journey. It may suck, but it will. It will come out the other side where you're coasting. Many people are suffering from battle fatigue. They've been standing a long time trying to break the addiction, believing for the promotion, praying for that family member, but hasn't happened yet. They never dreamed they'd still be single, still be dealing with the illness, still be trying to get the loan. Now they're tired. Let me encourage you, your time is coming. Your due season is on the way. Don't let time talk you out of it. Don't let discouragement cause you to give up. Don't let negative thoughts convince you to settle where you are. You were born to succeed, to win, to conquer all difficulties, and have all your faculties fully developed. The only thing in life that stands between you and everything you've ever wanted to do is doing it. All that stood between me and everything I've ever wanted to do in life was doing it. You have to trust your own voice, your own ideas, your honesty, your vulnerability, and through this you will find your way. You do not have to be fearless. Just don't let fear stop you. Live like this as best you can, and I guarantee you will look back on a life well lived. You are capable of greatness in your profession, and more importantly, in your quality of self. Stay hungry. Stay young at heart. Take those risks. You are going to change the world around you in big ways and in small. If we want to go somewhere, you got to do it. One of the great secrets in life to becoming successful, whether it's in a business, whether it's working with someone or for someone or in your own personal life, is be prepared in life for a lot of rejection. Because if you're prepared for a lot of rejection, it comes, you don't get turned off, you don't get disappointed, like, well, I'm not gonna do this anymore, no one thinks it's a good idea. 
We need trust, right? We need trust. When we're surrounded by people who believe what we believe and trust starts to emerge, when we trust them and they trust us, we're more willing to take risks. We're more willing to experiment, which requires failure. We're more willing to explore and go somewhere that no one has ever gone before with the confidence that if we fail, if we trip over, if we turn our backs, that those within our community, those who we trust and who trust us, will look after us while we're gone, will pick us up when we fall over, will help us when we're hurt. Our very survival depends on it. Courage, someone who has, is, 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 has, the, has the courage no matter what to um, believe in something wholeheartedly and follow that with faith and courage to just go and, and if I was able to do it, you can too. You know, and you, but you need to start making that choice. You need to make that choice right now for yourself. There are people who have lost their arms, lost their sight. There have been people that have been through the most horrific experiences in life and they found a way to still be happy because they've made the decision that life is too short to suffer. So many of you are waiting to be picked. By who? Are you making the most of your life? And the answer is yes, if you pay attention to what you do in five second windows. And so all you need to know to change anything is A, you're never gonna feel like it. You're never gonna feel ready to start that business. You're never gonna feel ready to have that hard conversation. You're never gonna feel like getting out of bed. You're never gonna feel like it's a good idea to apply for that promotion. We're designed to stay comfortable and safe. So if you know that you're A, never gonna feel like it, and B, that no one's coming, it's up to you. You're not a kid anymore. I have some bad habits. All my habits are not great, so if you've got some bad habits, don't feel bad. So does your next door neighbor. So does your mentor, your coach. So does your mother and father if they're alive. So does everyone. And the trick of life is to replace a bad habit with a good habit. Make up your mind you're gonna do it every day, every day, every day. Until you don't have to think about it and then you'll automatically do it. I guarantee you this idea will change your life. Think about it all day because that is definitely an idea that will give you results that will stick. No matter who you are, no matter where you are in life, you can take the lid off of your job. If you're wondering if you still have the lid on in your life, here are some clues that's gonna let you know that the lid is still on. If you're not excited about waking up in the morning, if you're sitting around bored out of your mind, if you got time to do everything anybody asks you to do, you probably got the lid on. If when you tell your dreams to all your friends, it makes sense to them, you got your lid on, man. Your dreams should be, should not make sense to everybody. You gotta say something that make people go, how you gonna do that? That's when you got the lid off. And if I were you, I'd do that. I'd take the lid off. It's not always going to be easy. There are going to be challenges. There's still going to be curveballs thrown at me. But I, I, I can't become uh, introverted. I, I, I have to continue to get outside myself because when you're uncomfortable, that's the only way you're going to grow. Right. So the only way I became successful was going towards the truth. As painful and as brutal as it is, it changed me. It, it allowed me to become, in my own right, who I am today. You face your fears, you become the person you want to be. You run from your fears, you're not living. You're alive, but you're not taking the freedom. You're not running the day, the day's running you. You always be the fucking servant, not the master, guys. We have the ability to go in such a space. If you're willing to suffer, and I mean suffer, your brain and your body, once connected together, can do anything. We all fall down in life, guys. The question is, who gets back up? Again, it's not the potential of the individual. It's not the genetics. It's the perseverance. The never say die attitude. If you constantly keep throwing shit against the wall, eventually something will stick, guys.
Never give in to what you want. I am where I am, and only I can change it.